welcome to the rainforest of Central America. Hidden from the naked eye, underneath the canopy, massive ancient cities are waiting to be discovered. Recent high-tech laser technology, called LIDAR, revealed ancient megacities about twice the size of Mexico City, around 15 million people, thriving in a relative small area. How was that even possible without supposed sewer systems or without supposed waste processing systems? Imagine a mega city like Tokyo without a proper functioning sewer, fresh water systems, and advanced infrastructure, or cultivation and distribution of foods? Without the population would be decimated within months due to plagues and diseases. So, there is still, despite the recent discoveries thanks to LIDAR, much more than meets the laser eyes. These cities thrived and grew to enormous proportions. These new discoveries are just a tip of the iceberg. Every new scan of this area will reveal many more mega-cities of the ancient world. Similar as deforestation revealed geoglyphs in the Amazon rainforest. The ancient world was probably more advanced than we can imagine today. But since stone is one of the few materials that survives the eons, while most other materials are decomposed, we tend to believe they lived in the Stone Age. Archaeologists are stunned by what they have discovered just recently with the LiDAR technology. It is still unexplained how such large populations could live in such a swampy moisty area. On top of that, it is assumed with no proper technology to rely on. The current paradigm of the so-called Mayans was that they brutally sacrificed innocent people to their deities. That is the primitive image that archaeologists and historians still spread, even today. However, these were not the people who originally occupied these cities. The people who performed ceremonial sacrifices, those who we are mistaking for the Mayans, were the superstitious, less developed offspring of the original inhabitants of this region. all these Mayan stone calendars and stone carving are mistakenly connected to the people who performed the ritual barbarisms. Historians and their peers have made an enormous mess of our ancient history. What most people don't know, is that these stone artifacts cannot be dated like archaeologists are claiming. They simply cannot be dated in any way. All claims are unscientific and sucked straight out of the big thumb. All these artifacts were created by our distant ancestors. The same people who built the mega cities. They were the Atlanteans that so many people are looking for. Homo sapiens, with advanced technologies, with high developed societies, who were destroyed by one of the many catastrophe cycles of Mother Earth. Atlantis was no specific place, it was a time frame on Earth that has been lost in the mist of time. From this mist dooms a species, Homo sapiens, seemingly out of nowhere walking in bare skin, using stone tools. But this species rose from the ashes of a long-lasting catastrophe, when the crust massively deformed over an amazing long time frame of 104,000 years, between 130,000 and 26,000 years ago. The earth calmed down, life became tranquil, as nothing had happened, and humans slowly started to develop. And here we are today, having no idea of our true past, Mainstream science is currently incapable to support our work. Mainly due to the enormous gap between disciplines like archaeology and geology. Geology currently denies any form of crustal deformations other than their current relatively static plate tectonic models. Our discoveries, and subsequent method that we have developed, made it possible to understand our ancient past much better. 95% of all the monuments in the Americas are clockwise oriented. They were once oriented to ancient poles, a very long time ago. We have put things into another perspective, so that you can easily understand what really happened in our ancient past. It is now relatively easy to put all historical events into a broader, a more logical context. Ancient history is all about long time frames. Long frames of stability, and long frames of cataclysms. On top of that are sudden catastrophes, like magnetic reversals and comet impact superimposed. But these catastrophes are nothing compared to the slow, immense powerful, all-disruptive crustal deformations. 
Why hasn't archaeology came up with this discovery then? That is because they are entrapped in a narrowed paradigm. Their paradigm only lives in the time frame of carbon dating. Everything beyond 60,000 years simply does not exist. That is why the recent LiDAR discoveries of mega cities and the current historical paradigm are so contradicting to each other. Every new technology will reveal more about our ancient past. LiDAR is only the beginning of a new understanding that confirms our method. Ancient societies on the rise have been struck by not less than four massive prolonged cataclysms. Only stone, gold, and glass survives the eons without much decay. However, most structures and artifacts are lost to the powers of Mother Nature. That is why we associate the Mayan culture with stone buildings, gold, and crystal skulls. Most of the other materials are completely decomposed after hundreds of thousands of years. Of course were there people in the period between today and some 60,000 years ago in these regions. People who left all sorts of organic material that archaeologists are eager to carbon date. But these are not the people who built the original cities. These were also not the people who created ancient advanced calendar systems. Where are all the bones then? Many people tend to ask. They are nowhere. They are buried by time, dissolved in acidic soil, or washed away by rising sea levels. The reason why we find some dinosaur bones is mainly because of two reasons. Dinosaurs lived for over a hundred million years in massive quantities, and their bones are significant larger, hence easier to find. If you are on the look for a bone of an elephant and a bone of a mice, which one will you find probably first? What did we discover? We discovered that due to crustal deformations the geographic North Pole moved significantly. These deformations are mistaken as ice ages. The latitude of the ancient Mayans changed significantly due to these crustal changes. During the period these peoples thrived. Their region was at a similar latitude as California today. A much better climate to settle megacities. These ancient cities were overtaken by the jungle after they slowly migrated from a mild climate to the more hostile climate of the tropics. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with your friends and followers and let us know what you think below in the comment section. One last thing. Our work is difficult, and because we tread uncharted territory, our progress is as steady but slow. We are not here to entertain you with superficial daily videos. We are here to inform you, and to pave the way to new methods of researching our ancient history. Everything we do takes a lot of time. That is why we need your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching.